What up, players? Warbots tear up in this mud. I got a box of Eldar, Farseer, and Warlock Council. Is that what they are? Farseer and Warlocks. So these guys are painted up in the red and white Saimhan, Saimhan color scheme. And um, yeah, I, you know, I like the Farseer and I, I, I kind of like the rest of them, but I'm just a bigger fan of the BL10 color scheme, the green and the white. But the, the reds look good, the way they did the shading and the intricate cloak design. I might, if I do paint this up, I don't know, I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll do them in this red scheme. Uh, I just don't know because when I look at the rest of um, a lot of the same Han, same Han color schemes for the um, for the the Eldar range, I just they don't look very good except on these warlocks and except on this farce here. The red and the white just doesn't, you know, when I see a um, like an Altark or Guardians or something done in this scheme, I just uh, I don't like it. I don't know. I don't know. The green and the white just seems a lot more. Eldari to me, so maybe I'll, I'll do like um, these guys in this red and white scheme, and then if I if I do some rangers or or the rest of the army later, I'll stick with the green and the white with the with the black thorns. Those are super cool. Okay, so let's take a look at the sprues. You get three resin fine cast sprues. So let's take a look at it. The first one is this warlock with Staff and Shuriken Pistol. You can see he's got a lot of vials and, and um, just really intricate designing on his, on that uh, chest piece he's got. Spirit Stones. I don't see any miscasts, but you know how Fine Cast loves to surprise me. I'm not going to say anything and jinx myself. Yep, there's a little bubble right there. So this obviously I'm going to have to clip from under his foot, under the heel of his foot. Put that little section out to fit him. Oh, I'm going to have to do some massive cleaning under there. It's kind of messy, fine cast. Look at that, that's pretty... Huh. Kind of messy. Best miniatures in the world! So here we've got two warlocks holding these large crystal swords. Yeah, I'm looking forward to painting the crystal effect on them. Again, you've got spirit stones, pouches, talismans, a lot of flash in the foot area. You can't even build, you can't even tell like what they're supposed to be wearing on their feet. It's just so sloppy. Oh, but look, the head, the helmet is pretty crisp. Clean. The mold looks really clean. Right there. Yeah, let's look to the back side now. Take a look at this crystal sword. We've got some fur trim on this coat. Probably do that as like a snow leopard or something. Finally, we've got the Farseer, which is a favorite model of mine. One of my favorites in the whole Eldar range. Definitely in this box, this is the best one. He's standing on this molded base with his robes swaying in the breeze. Here's his helmet. Sword. Yep, so I've decided that I'm going to paint this up in the red and white. And uh, I'm just gonna make it these guys if I find other Sam Han units. Sam Han units that I wanna. I can't help myself. Oh my gosh, it's just I say it and then I, I wanna say it in that voice. Sam Han. Um, if I wanna. Oh my gosh, I'm racist. No, I'm not racist. I just. I'm gonna have to reshoot this whole video. Um. Yeah, so, so I'm gonna paint it in the red and white. 
and then um, any other ones that I do, I'll do in green. And you know, I can do that because I'm Asian. I'm half Asian, so or I'm all Asian. So my other half is Pacific Islander, so I can do that. I can say it in that voice. It's legal. All right, so I'm gonna build these guys up, and um, we'll come back to it at the end of this video. All right, we're back for the ending of this video. I assembled all my guys up. Like I had expected, the flash, especially along the feet, was really bad for a bunch of these. And the tabs at the bottom connecting the feet together were really thick. And oh, I see a little flash. I gotta clean up a little bit more. So it was hard to slot them into these bases. Um, but. I did it in the end, I eventually got it, just you gotta keep shaving them down with your hobby knife. Uh, and then glue these things in because Games Workshop says you should use super glue and not plastic glue when working with their fine cast models. But um, I must say I remember painting a couple of these up, specifically I think this guy and this spear guy for my Eldar painting job way back, like a year or so ago. Um, so I, I am looking forward to doing them up again, and the the detail, the level of detail is is really awesome. So I'm gonna go look up some Simon color schemes and uh, check out CoolMiniOrNot.com to see what I can do, and then I will post up some painting tutorials for these guys. All right, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.